Ciao friends, Best with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today's project is my 2022 temperature blanket and I've taken on the task of making two of them. I'm going to make one at my house and one at my mom's house. The temperature difference is drastic. We're in Missouri and my mom is in Minnesota and it's been darn cold in both places but it's going to be really fun. This is my big bag of yarn. But to make it a little bit more manageable, I made a swatch. These are all, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. I'm doing some pastels this year. Pink, rosy cheeks, soft pink, light peach, buttercup, mint, glacier, soft blue, stone wash, amethyst, periwinkle, gray mist, and light gray. And then this one right here is linen. That's going to be a break in between my months. And this little color right here is... The only one that's not, and I love this yarn. This one is still from Hobby Lobby, but this is Premier Cotton Collage, and it is a super fine one. And I'm going to add that in, like I did here on January 1st, for holidays. It's a one, so it's super fine. It's not really going to change the bulkiness too much, but it'll just do a little, it'll just do a little shout out. So, oh, okay, I know that one's January 1st because it's the first row. So I wanted it to be something that was kind of fun, not just a bunch of single crochets or double crochets or whatever. I wanted it to be fun. So I have done my version of a bar stitch and it's reversible. So this is one side, just nice stripes, and this is the other side that has the texture. I just think this is a fun stitch and I have a little twist on it as I always do. I always have a little twist on my stitches to make them my way. But this one is mine for my part of Missouri. And this one is my mom's. You can see already that the colors are changing like crazy. They're very different. And it's only a few weeks into January. I have this done through the 18th and it is not the 18th anymore. So I have a couple of days to catch up on, but it's actually pretty fast. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I didn't want to have a blanket that was four feet wide or five feet wide and 25 feet long because these are kind of wide rows. I've set this into three sections. So what I'm going to have is January, February, March, and April in one section. That's this bag. And then the next four months will be next to it, and the next four months will be next to it. So it'll make more of a uniform shape for a real throw or a blanket instead of some big, long, huge thing that would end up being so big by the end of December. It would be crazy big. I did all the math. It's going to end up being about five by six when I'm done, which will be a nice blanket size. My son, who loves his blankets, says that that's a good size. So that's what I went with. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! My little twist on a bar stitch. It's really easy stitch. It's interesting. It's got some texture and it's fun. And it's really easy to keep track of your stitches almost a no-brainer kind of stitch. So let's get started on my very first edge here. This is linen. This is my starting point and in between the months I'm going to put another row of linen so that I know when January ends and February begins. So to begin you just want to chain a multiple of three. I did 99 for this one for, so each of my three panels will be 99. So I'm going to start out really quick. There's my slip knot. And we do any multiple of three that you want to make the width that you like. And I have my five millimeter prim, one of my favorite babies. I'm going to use that today. And this is my linen that I used right here. I'm going to start with this color and then I'll use a different color in a little bit to show the next row. So multiples of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11 and 12. There's 12. I'm going to do this little swatch right here. There's 12. So now the first row is super simple. We're just going to single crochet all the way back down. So we'll end up with 11 single crochets because we changed 12. On the My Master Project it was 99. And then I single crocheted back down 98. So there was my chain and there's my 
11 single crochets. I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and now this is just the basic starting area. So we're going to go here now with, it was a chain one, and now we're going to do half double crochets all the way down, so 11 half double crochets. It's going to give us our starting bar. Starting. Give us our starting bar for the next row. And there's my last one. So I did a row of single crochet, a row of half double crochet, and then we're going to chain one turn our work. And now we're going to start with our bar stitch pattern. So we're going to do single crochet, one, and I'm going to mark these stitches for you so you can see where we're doing. One single crochet, two single crochets, and then in the next one we want to go around this post of our half double crochet with the front post double crochet. So we're going to go behind the post like that. And that's our sequence. Two single crochets and then a front post double crochet. So you pull in behind, yarn over, and finish your double crochet. Single crochet, single crochet, and there's my bar. Behind the bar, yarn over, pull through, pull through, pull through, and then my last two stitches will be single crochets. And that's how I begin. It has a little bit of texture and it's very fun. I love this one. So what we do now, just going to finish this off, we're going to snip and pull that straight through, start working on the next one. And I like to mark this just so you can see what's going on. Really don't need the stitch markers that badly with this project, but sometimes one of these little stitches could get a little tight and then you'll be sad. All right, now we got a contrasting color. Here's my contrasting color. This one, I love this color. This one is Periwinkle. It's such a fun little blue-purple. Should show up very nicely against this linen color, which I think is a really great color. It's almost gray, but not quite. It's really a really nice color. All right, so now this is where we ended. Flip it over. This is where we're going to fasten on, right here right where this blue stitch marker is. Fasten on your new color for the next day. Fasten that on and now the easy part, you want to go back into that same stitch now with a single crochet and go around those ends as much as you possibly can. Save you a lot of hassle at the end of this panel of having to weave in all those darn ends. So there's our first stitch. I went through the entire stitch. I'm going to move my marker so we can find that one again later. And now for the rest of these, only the outside ones are going to be a full stitch. The rest of these are going to be back loop only. So we're going to find the back loop, not the whole, not the whole stitch, just the back loop. And single crochet all the way down your new, your panel in the back loops only, except for the very outside stitches. Those will be both loops. Makes a bit more finished edge. And you'll be happy if you decide to put a border on this at the end of December. You'll be very happy to have that being a full stitch. So here I'm to the, my last stitch and going under both loops. And there we go. 
So there's our first pass with this color. Each one of these is two rows. So that was my first row with the periwinkle. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and I'm going to single crochet into the very first one through both loops and move my marker so it's easy for everyone to follow. And then one more single crochet. So the first two are single crochets. The first two stitches are single crochets and then we get to do our front post double crochet. So yarn over, find your front post from the texture from the previous one, yarn over, pull through and complete your double crochet. Single, single, And another front post. There's our front post from the previous one. Right there. Front post double crochet. Two singles. One and two. And there's my front post. Front post double crochet. And the last two stitches, one and two, are single crochets and this color is done. So now we have the first little textured part right here. So it's starting to show already. Isn't that fun? I just love the stitch. So it's a simple bar stitch, but I made it a little bit more interesting because my stripes are very defined in the back right here. So it's a two-sided blanket. This side is just nice straight lines and this side has all the texture. So I think it's fun that way. I wanted it to be a little bit more interesting so that's what I came up with for the year. Let's see how it looks at the end of December, huh? <laughs> and so let's go on. I've got another color here. I think this one is just pink. Yep, this is just pink. Still, I love this yarn. Hobby Lobby. So now we're done with this day. I've just been writing everything down in my planner so I know what the temperature is today in two different places. If you wanted to get started right now, there are tons of websites that give history of those things. So you, all you have to do is do a quick Google of what was the temperature yesterday. And I'm going to snip because I'm in, not going to be using Periwinkle anymore and then just pull it straight through. Don't knot it or anything like that. You don't need to have extra knots. You shall always start where you just ended. So I'm going to flip my work and fasten on my new pink. Remember the outside one is through both loops. And now I want to go around those tail ends as much as you can. If you forget every once in a while, it's okay. You'll just have more weaving in to do later. But there's my first stitch. Move my stitch marker and then remember all of these were back loop only, with the single crochets. And I'm just going around my tails a little bit as far as you want. all the way down, single crochet to the very end. And I'm up to my last stitch, so not back loop only. To make a nice edge, we want to go through both loops. Go under both loops. So there's our first row of the next color. See, it makes a nice straight line with that back loop only. I really like that. Chain one, turn our work. The first two are single crochets, so one, two. There's one. And there's two. And now we get to do our front post double crochet again. So there's our front post from the purple. Underneath our periwinkle, yarn over, pull through and complete your double crochet. Two single crochets. There's my next 
front post, so front post double crochet, two singles, and there's my next front post is right here, front post double crochet, so yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and there's my last two stitches right here are single crochet. And now I'm done with another day. And you can just tug, give these a tug, make them look nice. So you'll end up with one side looking kind of like this. With all of these ends. But since I've been working over them, I could snip these really at any time that I wanted to. I was just leaving them because they weren't really bothering me that much. The other end is perfect. This is the turning side. And this is where we start and end everything. So as you can see here, we already are showing our texture right here even with this tiny swatch. But see how much prettier this looks. I just love this stitch. And it's a really great blanket stitch. Gives a little bit of texture. It'll be nice and toasty warm. And I love this yarn. It's very soft. There's a whole bunch in a skein and they go 30% often. So that's cool. Then you can get all 15 colors that you need at once on sale. That's my favorite. That's what I did a couple weeks ago. Now I'm going to show you adding in this one for a holiday. It's going to be as simple as it sounds. Let's just pretend that this pink is still the same temperature range because that does happen. So I'm going to add in my cotton. My tiny is super skinny. You can barely see it, but it will leave just a little bit of a fleck, which is fun. So now we're just going to start using both. We're going to use this, the color for the day, and this extra little piece of my Premier Cotton Collage. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and do the exact same thing that we did before underneath both loops because it's an outside loop with a single crochet. And I'm going to mark my stitch. And now along the back loop only, single crochets. Make sure you catch both of your strands this time. So this is adding in just an itty bitty little color. Just a little bit of a highlight. So you can pick out whichever holidays are your holidays that you find important. You can use for any ones that you want. I think I'm just going to do like the top 10 or 12. I'm not going to do every day can be a holiday because there's like National Pizza Day and Ice Cream Day and all those kind of things too, but every day it can't be a holiday on a temperature blanket. Every day can't be a holiday, otherwise I have too much yarn. Wait a minute, can you have too much yarn? I don't think so. And there's my last stitch. I'm going to go under both loops with a single crochet of both colors. Chain one, turn my work, and remember the first two our single crochets. So I'm going to go back one, two, right here and put my marker back in so it's easy to see on screen. Now you find your post. Front post, double crochet. Two singles using both strands. And the next front post. two singles, and the next front post. Front post, double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two, and there's our last two stitches, single crochet, and single crochet. So you can see this just gives a tiny little fleck of a color to give it a highlight that says, hey, I was a holiday, I was something special, I was something a little bit different, but it still uses the same color as the temperature for that day. Which is the exact same thing that I did right here on New Year's Day. This was soft blue with this little bit of fleck in it. You can see it but not a lot. So that's fun. You can see it better in some places because this is a rainbow color, has everything in it. So it's part of the blues. Didn't really show up as much, but the pinks certainly did. 
Alright, so again, even though I've only done through the 18th of January, you can see the difference in the one at my house right here. It's a lot warmer. This is like in the 50s. And this is down here in these grays. And these purples are single digits for my mom. Uh, it's 50 degrees here. Makes me feel kind of sad sometimes. Makes me feel a little guilty that when I'm looking at these colors of what a nice stretch we had right here and it was not very nice at my mom's house. Oh no! But I thought this was going to be extremely interesting to see what it looks like for two different places using the same color palette. Instead of just making one, I'm going to make two. So at the beginning of each month, I'll give you an update on my previous month. So in a couple of weeks, I'm going to show you all of January, including how I plan to break off the months, any holidays that were in there, all of my color choices, and see how it's going. And of course, when I'm done with one panel, then we'll have to move on to another panel. And we'll just join everything together. It will be wonderful. So run off, get your color palette, 15 colors. And join me back here in a couple weeks. It'll be really easy to catch up because this row goes pretty fast. You'll be able to catch up even if you haven't started yet. It's only like the 22nd. These rows don't take that long because this panel here is kind of narrow. It's not a full blanket size. So you can catch up really fast. This would only take you a half an hour to get this whole darn thing done. So you can meet me back here in a couple weeks. And I'll show you what my January looks like and we'll move on to February. And I will keep you going and I'll give you your encouragement so you can get your temperature blanket done and don't just do January and stop. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks. Tell all your friends about me and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.